And that disillusionment has become really apparent here in Britain, where angry young Muslims say they want to turn Buckingham Palace into a mosque. CNN's Nick Robertson spoke to their leader, who is determined to see the UK become an Islamic state. They are an angry minority. Their goal, nothing short of Muslim domination of the United Kingdom, if not the world. This poster is basically showing how we will transform Buckingham Palace into a local mosque for the Muslims. And what happens to the Queen? Well, the Queen, she has a choice. She can either become Muslim or she can leave the country. This man, Amjam Chowdhury, is their leader. He demands Islamic law, known as Sharia, to be the law of the land. Drugs will be banned, pornography will be banned, gambling will be banned. Chowdhury's strategy is to pit Muslims against everyone else to create tension. We do expect to enter into a struggle, if you like, of words, and maybe even more than that, uh, before we can see the fruition of uh, the Sharia, really, on state level. Muslims are here to stay! Muslims are here to stay! Like Muslim radicals Yusuf Khattab and Yunus Abdullah Mohammed in New York, Chowdhury supports Osama bin Laden and justifies the 9-11 attacks. In fact, Chowdhury claims he was spreading the message of jihad, or holy war, even before 9-11. I've been to uh, New York a couple of times before 9-11 and even to the, mid to the Bible about, I think they call it the Midwest. And, uh, you know, it's about propagating Islam. I do believe that the Muslims in America are possibly five or ten years behind in terms of the struggle that they're engaging in. What Chowdhury is implying is that how radicalization evolves here in Britain and in Europe will in some part be a model for what the United States can expect. Here, terrorism officials say they're tracking about 30 serious terror plots. In the weeks after the London subway terror attacks in 2005, Chowdhury's co-leader, Omar Bakri, fled the UK, fearing he would be arrested for his radical views. Now, he's in Lebanon, broadcasting his message over the internet. He describes the 9-11 attackers as the Magnificent 19. And in Europe, it appears that message is turning into action. Last year, Belgian police busted a group alleged to be using chat rooms to recruit young Muslims for Al-Qaeda training in Pakistan. We knew we were in the presence of an organization that is part of Al-Qaeda. We knew that these people were in contact with the highest levels of Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. One of those arrested was this woman. Malika al -Arud. Her website praised Osama bin Laden. Most Muslims love Osama, like I love him myself. Now she's in jail, charged with taking part in the activities of an Islamic terrorist group. She denies the charge. She is, in fact, uh, one of the uh, leading jihadists uh, person on Internet. Her uh, side on interest uh, internet attracts uh, very much interest from other persons. Now intelligence officials tell CNN that a French atomic scientist charged last month with associating with terrorists was participating in Malika Alaroud's website. Back in London, Amjan Chowdhury says that's the point. You can be anywhere to recruit people to radical Islam. So it's very easy nowadays for people to build up links and communication very quickly and then after that, you know, to disappear and to go off, you know, wherever they want to go. And where they want to go, intelligence services worry, in increasing numbers, is into violent jihad around the world. Nick Rollison, CNN, London.